Hey guys, Delusional here. Today I'm going to be making a art supplies uh, sort of tour video. So to start off, uh, we have my uh, art desk here. Uh, as you can see, it's very messy because it's you know being used. We've got some lines here. Uh, overall, it's a really nice desk. Um, my stepdad actually got it from uh, his work one day, and it was just like for free. And he's like, "Do you want it?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" So. Yeah, then in here we have the storage space. This could be really useful. People are not messy and just chuck the junk in here. But um, yeah, I will show you these papers and stuff in a minute just because uh, they're like the ones I primarily use. Uh, it's also kind of cool because you can kind of um, like move these things up. There's one on that side too, but I'm not really going to put the other one up. And it just like flattens the surface. Um, which is cool, um, but I generally like to draw in like a bit of a sl sl slant anyway. Uh, so anyway, going along from left, uh, here we have uh, this um, like this Cadbury's Easter tin, um, and I just have a bunch of cheap brand pens in there. Um, don't ask me why, I just put them in there, just for no really reason. Um, and uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of random fucking pens. Um, next up is like a well-used thing. Uh, this is a, um, a Kimori Aikido Dojo um, thing. This is uh, where uh, my this is my uncle's dojo in Japan, um, and yeah, he does Aikido. Um, I live in New Zealand, but he's in Japan. Um, so yeah, I've got family in Japan. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice shape. It's kind of like a sort of a, it's just an interesting shape. I don't, I don't generally like off sort of normal or irregular shapes, but I kind of like this one. Anyway, starting with this contents in the stuff, uh, for one, don't know why this is here. This was a giant rubber, but the giant rubber's at my school right now in my art class folder. So, um, don't know why the paper's in there, so I'm actually just going to, drop um but anyway uh start off i have this mini ruler uh here which i um stole from my sister it's this jake and the Neville land pirates thing i just use it just for doing like various pr perspective sketches and stuff um then i'll just put that there i generally don't actually have that in there i generally put it with this other ruler which is really cool it's like a um like a 3d dinosaur thing that i've had ever since i was like Five. Um, and if you wonder where the other ruler went, I believe it just slid down there. Um, anyway, um, so pretty much here we have some pencils. So we have a, a 3H. Uh, these are all like pretty decent ones. Um, we do have some fiber Castile stuff. I can't remember what brand these are, but I think these were expensive. I haven't actually got around to using it yet. Um, then we just have a white pencil, this is just for various highlights, um, again, still on my sister. Um, then we just have an HB pencil, um, which is, can, will it focus? I don't think so, I don't know, you can see it's an HB pencil, uh, it is by, um, it's Micador Essential Pencils or something, I don't know, it's a good pencil, this is like my primary pencil. Um, then we've got this, um, this is Papermates, which is kind of like a shitty brand, it's like, um, it was just a 2B pencil, then we got, uh, this, just this random HB1 Pro from, like, a dollar store, uh, then this is, like, a good brand pencil, can't remember the brand, but yeah, it's a good one. Uh, here, this is, like, my most used thing, this is, like, a mechanical blue pencil, this is, I use this, like, on daily, day to day kind of thing, um, really good, it's like, it's not just like coloured pencil, it's actually like, it's blue graphite, which is really cool, um, and it can be erased just as easy as regular graphite, so that's cool, uh, then we just have a fibre castile, um, blue pencil, which I sometimes use, really do though, because mechanical pencils are just nice at a grip and hold, um, we have two mechanical pencils that I generally use, these are just regular ones, and you can tell I've used them because the rubber is way down. Um, then we have just a pen that I just keep on handy, 
Um, we have a glue stick. Um, have a pair of scissors. We have uh, replacement leads for um, the blacks, and I also over here have replacement leads for the uh, blue. I'll we'll have another random pen, and then we also have uh, another. I think this is, yeah, Micador Pencil, which is a 2B. Then we got something that I literally just got on the mail today that I'm very excited to have. This is a, um, it's not necessarily the best brand, but I didn't want to buy anything super expensive to start off with before I really get into these. But these are called brush pens. Um, they're really cool. This was like the, um, thickest and hardest tip I could have gotten. Um, it's sort of like not even really a brush, this one. It still is. It still has flexibility and all that, but, um, you know, it, it uses like actual Indian ink that you actually have to like refill, so it's really awesome. Um, you know, I don't usually draw on my desk with that. Uh, you can do like thin lines and thick lines. And it's just, it's really nice if you're inking stuff like a uh, comic type, uh, stuff like that so uh yeah really cool there this actually cost me like eight bucks which is kind of expensive but um it's a fairly thick um thing so yeah um okay next thing is uh just the rubber which i actually don't know why that's in there honestly uh, i generally give it in there uh then a pencil sharpener this is just like a Whatever one, I don't even know. Just a cheap thing, it doesn't really matter. Pencil sharpeners, and then just a bunch of shavings, which I should probably empty out. Um, then here we have the, uh, probably like the one of the coolest things, which are these touch uh, markers here. Um, and I bought these, these didn't come in these things. Uh, these do actually have lids, I just don't use them. I, I don't know, I feel like there's not enough in there. There's, there's 80 of them, so there's like 40 in each, or around 40 in each of these. But, um, these are really cool. Um, I got these for Christmas last year. Um, and I actually like, I think a lot of people will say that these are almost better than Copics, just because of the fact that, like, for the what they do for the price is kind of better than Copics. I mean, they're really great. They blend well and everything. They're still expensive. Like these, I think were about like three hundred bucks or something for these eighty colors. Now let me just tell you, if you're thinking about getting into Copics or um, just markers in general, I'm honestly not even the biggest fan of markers. I think they're really cool and all, but I honestly just prefer. And a lot of my stuff, I don't know. I just I'm, I'm kind of a black and white kind of person, um, but Copics are cool and all, um, but you kind of, you have to get these refilled every now and then, and, um, the thing is, is you don't need all of these colours, you just get one of, like, every primary colour, so you get, like, a red, probably not something that bright, but you just get, like, a red, a blue, a green, a yellow, a black, a white, and then you just, like, make other colours from it, you don't need a bunch of colours, and, Honestly, like, it's kind of just a bit gimmicky, and you, I watch these, like, collection videos on YouTube, and you see people with, like, literally a whole shelf, and they just have, like, like, a hundred types of greens, and it's just, it's just kind of a show, but they do me well, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna make a cut and show you what papers I use. Okay, so first up, oh, we just have this watercolour pad. Um, I don't even really use watercolour paints, um... I did buy some pretty decent ones for my mum um, for her birthday, and I had got some of those. I haven't done anything in this pad, but uh, this pad I just do random doodles and stuff, or I just, um, this I primarily actually have, uh, like, shoe designs in, which is pretty cool. Um, and these are all done with Copics, which is pretty nice. Uh, Copics are good, um, well, the touch markers. Um, but yeah, they look pretty decent. Uh, they, they kind of... They actually kind of fade a bit though, like they look a lot brighter when you put them on. Um, that one was really retarded, I honestly don't know what I was doing. I still haven't got around to finishing that thing. This is like my most recent one which I like. Um, then I just did this random kind of, um, sort of like, uh, Māori which is like the native New Zealander, uh, inspired sort of tribal pattern which I know I thought looked pretty cool. 
um, they generally use like brown, reds, whites and blacks. Um, so yeah, still got a lot of this pad to use, but as you can see it's kind of like a textured pad and it just makes the Copics not really bleed as much, which I don't know. Uh, the problem is, is they do show through the other side, but um, yeah, I, I don't know, it's a great pad. This, um, considering the price, it's a uh, Beige Air, which is like probably an Indian brand or something, but um, it's pretty big, it's an A3 size, um, and... Uh, you know, for the price, I think this cost me about like six bucks or seven bucks, maybe ten at the most. So pretty cheap uh, for a watercolor, good durable sketch pad. Now this is the paper I use for good sketches and drawings. This literally cost me two dollars, and you get like um, you get like I don't know how many sheets, but you get like a lot. You get like probably about like thirty, maybe even like forty sheets in this one thing. Now you might think, what's so special about this? Well. Basically, this is like, it's kind of like manga paper, almost. It kind of has this, like, it's it's like really kind of nice paper. It, it kind of feels like newsprint, but it's kind of not at the same time. But, you know, it's just like a really nice kind of texture to it. You probably can't really see, but, um, yeah, it's it's just really good, high-quality paper. It's like A3 size. Uh, it's like, it's like Wu Ying paper, um... Again, it's just pretty cool stuff, um, so, yeah, the other things I use, and then I do occasionally use, uh, printer paper as uh, well. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is, uh, cut and show you the digital art supplies I use. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. So here, uh, this is my drawing tablet. It is the Wacom Intuos Art Medium. Uh, it's a fairly big size. I think it is, um, I think it's about, like... 10 inches or something across, um, yeah, it's, it's a really good size, uh, for drawing, and a lot of people don't like, um, how, uh, it doesn't have a screen, but I actually like it, I feel like, um, just the overallness, it, it draws really well, in my opinion, um, and, yeah, so, I would recommend it, it just, I've got just the standard pen, haven't had to replace the nib yet, but it uh, does actually wear fairly fast, especially if you're someone like me who does kind of, I'm quite a rough drawer, so, um, maybe just be aware of that if you're actually planning on drawing. Um, but you know, the, p the pen pressure is really great as well, I can get all sorts of different lines and thick stuff, um, but anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and go through the software, so, um, the first software I have, well, actually, yeah, the first software I have is this, which is, uh, um, Manga Studio 5 or Clip Studio Paint, and it just, uh, it's just got, like, very good natural pencils, I, it allows you to do a lot of stuff, it's mainly just for if you're making comics, so, uh, this is, like, the only, um, Oh no, it's not, but it's the most expensive software I have, um, apart from Photoshop, but this cost me about $40 on top of this tablet. Um, and then uh, we have the um, Fire Out Packer, which is a free software, which I actually think is great as well. And I generally use this for doing sketches or in, but when I do like the tutorial videos, um, this is what I uh, kind of... Uh, use and you know it's it's a very nice thing uh there's no real delay response or anything it just works really nicely uh the next thing is an animation software which i do a little on the side this is synfix animation studio oh uh, this is a great thing so if, you know if you want to get into animation definitely want to download this it's a fantastic thing uh and the next thing is one of the corner softwares and this actually came with this and i probably wouldn't have even heard of it if uh, it weren't for this, I just noticed it came with it, and I was like, wow, this looks kind of cool. Um, and there's just a lot of cool brushes you can use, um, so you can go for, like, say, like, like watercolors or something, um, and it kind of actually has, like, watery effects and stuff, and the brush, like, will actually run out of paint and all that, which I think is, like, really cool. Well, maybe not watercolor, but, um, you know, the brushes, oh, you see how the brushes sort of, like, run out of paint there? Um, and you know, it kind of just, it has a really nice blend to it, and it actually feels and responds like real paint, and to a lot of people this isn't going to be very appealing, uh, considering that I don't generally paint, it's not amazing, uh, for me, but if I do do any, uh, I'd definitely use this software, and considering it's technically free because it came with my thing, 
But um, I think if you wanted to pick up Corel Painter, uh, it would only set you back about $25 anyway. Um, so yeah, they are the software that I use. Uh, of course, I also use uh, Photoshop, but um, generally the thing with Photoshop, which I have Photoshop CC, um, the problem I have with it is like, I don't know, I just don't like the pens and stuff that are default. I know you can get a bunch of different things, but um, I don't know, I just don't like them. And it's great if you're making thumbnails or photo editing, but just for general drawing, which a lot of people use, I don't really like it myself. Um, so, yeah, that just about wraps up this video here. I just wanted to show off my, um, like, supplies, I guess. Um, this drawing table came in, like, a really nice box. I'm actually thinking of making, like, an unboxing video of it. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.